hello everyone welcome back here in this new video today we are going to learn how to do the account receivable and aging analysis in microsoft excel i have the information of the outstanding invoice here in this sheet the invoice number invoice date customer name and invoice amount i have available the next sheet has the information on credit side given to the customer based on these information we need to create here the aging report group wise group wise aging report means the outstanding report based on different grouping of the aging days like 0 to 7 days 8 to 15 days 16 to 21 days and like that the next report we are going to create here is the customer wise overdue report to create these two reports for analysis we have to create here some helper columns so let's get started first of all here in the F column calculate the aging days so here I am going to give aging days in the header to calculate the aging days we need to subtract the invoice date from the today's date so here the formula will be press equal to then type today function bracket open bracket close minus then click on the invoice date press enter now it gives the aging days here which is given in date format we need to change this to number format to display the dates so here go to the formatting option in the home tab click on this then choose the number formatting and remove the digit after decimal by going here in this decrease decimal button click on this now this is the aging days now double click on this cell which will populate the aging days for all the other invoices now here in the next column calculate the aging group so here I am writing aging group and here I am going to make a grouping parameter so here I will write 0 and for this I am giving the group of 0 to 7 days in the next cell write 8 and here the name of the group is 8 to 15 days the next group is 16 days to 30 days so here type 16 and here type 16 to 30 days the next one is 31 days to 45 days so here type 31 and here type 31 to 45 days the next group is 46 days and more so here type 46 in the name of the group type 46 days and more these are the category of aging based on this category we will display in which group the particular invoice falls so here to calculate the aging group let's use the lookup function so press equal to type lookup bracket open then click on the aging days here comma in the lookup vector select these number value for the group then lock this group by pressing F4 key in the keyboard comma in the result vector select these group names also lock this range by pressing F4 key now close the bracket press enter and here you see the aging group is displayed for these days now go here in the fill handle then double click which will fill the aging group for all the invoice numbers down here you see the group is given now to create the customer wise overdue report first of all here we have to find out what is the overdue date for every single invoice so here I am going to give overdue date as a column header and here I am copying this formatting by using the format painter tool the overdue date will be given by this formula press equal to click on the invoice date then we have to add the credit side given to this particular customer in the invoice date so here type the plus symbol then use the vlookup function to capture the credit side so here type vlookup bracket open 
in the lookup value click on the customer name comma in the table array click on credit side sheet then select this table then lock this table by pressing f4 key in the keyboard comma in the column index number put 2 because this credit days is on the second column comma in the range lookup choose the exact match option by double clicking then close the bracket press enter now this has given the overdue date for this invoice number one this is calculated by adding the credit side to the invoice date now double click on the fill handle to populate the same formula down and here you see the overdue date is calculated for all the invoice now to calculate the overdue amount here in the next column let me insert here a new column then here i will write overdue amount copy this formatting and apply this over here then to calculate overdue amount use the if function press equal to type if bracket open in the logical test we have to check whether the overdue date is less than today or not if the overdue date is less than today's date then the invoice is supposed to be overdue so here click on the overdue date then type the less than symbol then type today function open bracket close bracket now this will check whether this date is less than today or not then give a comma in the value if true or if the logic we are checking here is correct then we have to display the invoice amount here so click on the invoice amount in this value if true parameter now give a comma in the value if false type 0 because if this logic is false or in another word if the overdue date is greater than or equal to today's date then the invoice is not overdue so here we have to put 0 in the value if false close the bracket then press enter and here this is given on date formatting we need to change this into number formatting by clicking here this will give the invoice amount now you can simply double click on the fill handle which will populate the formula down now here you see if the invoice is overdue then the amount are displayed and if the invoice are not overdue then the amount is given as zero now after making these columns here then we can now create the aging report and overdue report both now to create the report first of all select this data range till here then go to insert tab click on pivot table then click on from table range now here choose new worksheet then click on ok now here the pivot table report field is generated now to create the aging report here in the pivot table fields first of all put the customer name here in the row field so click on the customer name then drag this and drop it here in the row field which creates the name of the customer in the row then drag this aging group in the column level this way and drag the invoice amount here in the value field and here you see the report is created this is the aging report customer wise group wise aging report is created now to create another report that is the customer wise overdue report we have to again click on the insert tab then go to pivot table from table range choose new worksheet then click ok and here choose the customer name then choose the overdue amount here now you see this is the overdue amount of every single customer so in this way we can create the reports and then analyze the customer wise overdue and the group wise aging which you can see here so this is the way of creating the aging report group wise and the overdue report based on the information of the outstanding invoice and the name of the customer in microsoft excel and uh, this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial